Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Jackham Tracks, the back shop. And what we got here is a, a decoder and boxes of stuff. All right. Um, that's powered. This says powered, but it's not powered. And this is a oldie blue box. Um, so... We're going to put a decoder in one of these, and one of these is going to stay um, analog. And the reason why is this unit, as you can tell by the trucks being metal, is really old. I got this unit off Marketplace, not running for the price on here. That. I paid 15 bucks for this thing. And it wasn't running. This thing had never seen the tracks. I don't think. Doesn't look it. I basically took it apart, clean it. I cleaned it. Uh, the reason why this one is this one is not going to get a decoder is because of that. I might wind up doing a decoder anyway, but right now <clears throat> with that old what do they call it, the jet motor um it's just not it's it's uh the amperage on these things can get crazy high and they'll pop the coder so right now i'm not looking to do a decoder in this one now the other one let me put this one back in the put it back in the box all right now that one is that one very clean unit Except for someone touched it and you got rust on those handrails, which is common occurrence. Is it, bad boy? It's clone. Same number. This one is a newer production. Plastic trucks. Some people don't like the plastic. I don't mind it. And the benefit of this one is it's got a gold motor. So this one became the candidate to get the uh, decoder put in. Came with a set of extra set of uh, windows that were already in there and then the handrails, which is really good. I'm going to need those. Put this to the side. These in here. Is over here. So, <clears throat> the only um, issue I see having doing this is these things are solid as a rock. But I'm still going to pop this apart today while you're watching. And we're going to, I'm probably, yeah. Wasn't expecting him to survive. Not a big deal. Because. If you, if you actually look on how high it's up. Right. The thickness that that's up. That is the thickness. Of 3M. Double sided foam tape which will act as an insulator for the uh, for the bottom of this. And I also find that it quiets these units down. Well, quiets down Atherns, period, somewhat. Pop these trucks out. Oh, hold on, let me bend this all over. Pop these trucks out. So, these trucks have the two separate pieces, these trucks. And I was hoping, but this one doesn't. Some of these have uh, a brass rivet. 
in it. This one doesn't. So this might be a little difficult. But I'm going to try to solder on a wire to both sides. Have power leads coming off both sides and not worried about that. Not a big fan of soldering to this front pickup to this either. Um, this light housing for now is going to stay in place until I figure out what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, we're all apart. This motor, I mean, this thing, when I tell you this thing is, I mean, look. This thing hasn't seen the rails either. These two, these two units and this one. Oh, for this calf, for the calf and this cow. I traded a gentleman, uh, a Conrail calf that I had. That uh, I think I talked about in other videos wanting to uh, power up and stuff like that. I'm hoping that this one doesn't. But this one, they might, this might have uh, busted gears. But we'll find out because we'll, we'll strip this thing completely apart when we do it. I'll just throw this back together again for now. But yeah, we're gonna. This this unit is gonna get hardwired in. It's not gonna. Uh, and obviously, there's no plug and play on it. So I have a uh, a 126 that came with a plug. It's not gonna get plugged in. I'm not. I'm not cutting that one up. I have this from a 166 that I bought. And that's going to go into uh, into one of these. I right, want to use this and this. And then we're, we're going to make it nice and nice. We're going to make a clean installation of this too. And since I'm using this connector um, and wiring it in, we might be able to add sound to this at a later date. I'm not sure. I know Scale Sound makes a speaker that goes up in the top up there. So we may do that. I mean, I got I got plenty of room in reality. You know, once you once you pop once you break this piece off, take this off the front, because I don't like using a frame as a ground. I like to go to my trucks. So you know. Let's see. All right, guys. Be right back. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Jack on Tracks. And you saw earlier me stripping this thing down. Uh, I foolishly, not foolishly, I got a little ahead of myself. Um, what I really needed to do is uh, check out my clearances inside. So, for mock-up, this will be fine. We got plenty of room inside, but we're gonna see. So, let me sure I got enough room under the hood, as to say here. So. Now mind you, don't lose your mind over the blue tape. This is just for mock-up. Just to hold it in place while I do a little finagling. About straight in there. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so. <clears throat> That's not going to fit. It hits there. Not gonna fit right there. It's gonna fit on top of this motor. It just has to get put back. Up there. <clears throat> or not. Nope. Oh, not fit there either. All right. Anyway, 
no, this is gonna be a problem. So, all right, so we're going to use this piece here and we're going to formulate a mount. All right, that looks like that's gonna be the winner winner chicken dinner. Mount under there, and we'll go from here. Gonna need to do. All right, be right back.
These are a little shot, but they're gonna have to do for now. I'll change these out when I get a pair or when I find that <clears throat> foam. And I'm going to take these off. This will make it easier to get this in. I might shorten that orange wire out, only because it's a little bit long. Guys, I don't know if it's the right way of doing it, the wrong way of doing it. All I can tell you is the way I'm doing it.
I don't want to trim them too short, only because you never know. Maybe I'm going to throw a uh, dish lace in this thing, I don't know. Or classification lights. Oh. They have number boards. I don't really have number boards on it, but who knows? Maybe one day. this because I'm holding off on the lights because I ordered some three millimeter bulbs and I'm hoping they show up sometime soon and uh, these are just shy of three millimeter so is this one so I'll open those up and I'll put a nice set of three millimeter LEDs in there and it'll look popping hopefully I don't know I have no idea what's gonna look like hopefully it looks good but we can see if it runs. So give me one second. Let me re let me move everything around. Be right back. All right, guys. So we're back. <clears throat> I got JMR opened up. Can hit identify. Oh wait, disregard. Yeah, gotta do nothing. We're not connection. Hold on, there we go. Identify. All right, popping up to that one again. That's not what it is. Come in here. Read from Dakota. Matches only. All right, what do we got? Which one is this one? One twenty six P. Address of two, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put it to the address the uh, on the cab. We we'll switch it over along. That's going to be actually. You know something? Let's read this decoder real quick. All right, three. All right, we we'll switch over along. Fourteen seventy eight. Fourteen seventy eight. That's straight. Right, right, right. Save. Oh, okay. What was this thing? This is a <clears throat> SW seven PR. Save.
Alright, close that down. We'll go with that. Open it up. Throttle. It's opening up the throttle. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Let's close that. Go over to that. Let's hit identify. See if it finds it. Taking its time. What's going on here? It's doing a herky jerky. Oh, there it goes. Found it. That's good. That's what I wanted. It always takes the first time it, you hit identify button, it always takes the longest. All right. Actually, went up pretty good. This unit, um, <clears throat> this unit from the way it looks, and you look on these wheels, this thing would never run. There's another one I got that was another never run unit. So, I'm going to uh, pause this video for now until I get those three millimeters in, and then we'll uh, we'll do a finished up on it.